today. I missed last week's Friday video, um, mainly because of technical difficulties with my camera and my computer, but hopefully this video will work and hopefully you're watching it right now. But anyway, so last week's Lolita video was going to be about petticoats and travel. So, today we're talking about petticoats and, um, Again, not necessarily like where to buy petticoats or how much poop you need or defining petticoats, just how to get this and you <laughs> to your destination. Right. So when I um when I went on my trip to Napa, I only took my classical puppets petticoat, which is quite poofy. Um, it's bell shaped and it's amazing. This thing is almost a year old and it's so really nice. Um, so one thing you really need to know about petticoats is um, don't be afraid to like sort of squish them up because the way chiffon works is it takes a hold of the air and it just flounces out. And so I've seen and I've heard multiple ways that people like to keep their petticoats in their house. Like some of them put them in boxes and whatnot, so they'll scrunch it all up and then take it out and it'll be poof. Right? Well, I personally, I just hang mine up in my closet. It's kind of an awkward situation with my petticoat. I kind of just walk into it. But, um, for travel, it's going to be a little different. I mean, you could go with the round of putting it in a box, but what I found was way more efficient. Right, so what I would do, what I did was I would sort of fold it up, like so, and you'd put it in one of those um, space bags, like you see on TV in the space bag commercial and stuff. Um, you put your petticoat in a space bag, and what it does is it just sucks up all the air that your petticoat has gathered and it just becomes the thin chiffon it is, and it's paper flat. I should have taken a picture for both times I actually put my petticoat in a space bag, because it was quite hilarious. Like, I just had it flat at the bottom of my bag, and I just put all my other clothes on top of it. Also in space bags, but, um, way, way efficient. Like, I've heard other ways people do it when they travel is wear all your petticoats, but petticoats can get squished and they can deflate over um, over a day and whatnot. So I would not suggest doing that, um, especially if you don't like fly first class. Um, and if you're in like economy seating and there's like three people to row, it's not gonna work. I didn't want to. I didn't want to attempt like killing my petticoat and killing an outfit for a day. So that's what. I find it to be the most efficient. Um, it was really easy and quick to pack it. And um, what I worried about when I first put my petticoat in the space bag was, what if I can just, what if I just completely ruined my petticoat? Like, what if I opened it up to hang it up, and it would just not coming back up? Well. What I find is it takes like about three or so days for it to regain its voluptuousness. Um, but and all you have to do is just take it out of the bag and it's going to be somewhat poofy. Like when I took it out, it was kind of, wasn't like this. It was rather, it looked like a deflated petticoat, to be honest, with like some poof. But then, um, when you hang it up. Now, where I hang mine up on a hanger is I put these over the hanger arms, and so it's stretched out like that, so it helps regain air throughout the layers, and just let it sit by itself for a few days, and then it'll be back to its awesome self, and you can wear Lolita. Um, I see the only downside of that being if you want to wear Lolita straight away on your trip, but if you are not a a lifestyle Lolita like I am, 
and you just want to wear it for an awesome occasion, I suggest this. I highly suggest this. It was amazing, easy to pack, made wearing Lolita and traveling with Lolita that much less of a hassle for me, and I just want to share that helpful tip with you guys. Also, really sorry about last week's video and the week before last. I'm trying to figure out what technical difficulties happened. Not sure, but um, working on it. And as soon as possible, I'll have the Lolita and family video up. But um, till then, adios.